the Marin Headlands are an iconic location located just outside of San Francisco. Today, we're here with professional landscape and travel photographer Kenneth Hubbard, and he'll show you how to get some great sunrise and sunset images at this iconic location. And the Golden Gate Bridge is one of my favorite places to photograph. It seems like every time I come here, the weather conditions and the lighting are completely different. Sometimes you get heavy fog, wind and rain. Other times you get a sunrise that is colorful and beautiful like today. So as the sun is coming up and it's getting brighter out, I have to change my exposure. So from before where I was doing a 10 second exposure, now that it's much brighter out, I am setting my shutter speed to about a 15th of a second. Today I'm shooting with Tamron's 18 to 400 all-in-one zoom lens. This lens has a 22.2 times zoom. It is super versatile. I can shoot wide angle, get the whole bridge, then zoom in and get tight shots of just the structure itself. So what I'm going to try to do as the sun comes up over the horizon is actually capture one of those sunbursts. To achieve that, what I need to do is stop down my aperture to f16. When the sun comes up over the horizon, it'll turn the light into sunburst rays. One of my suggestions whenever doing a sunrise is always get there early and definitely stay later. The light is going to change drastically. You're going to have some pinks, orange and yellows in the clouds. And then when the sun rises, you get that really golden color for a good 15 minutes where you can work with some backlit silhouettes, some dramatic contrasts and just totally different light. The Headlands offers spectacular views of San Francisco, so the next time you're in the Bay Area, be sure to stop on by. I'm Ken Hubbard, travel and landscape photographer. Today I'll be shooting in Yellowstone National Park exclusively with Tamron's new 18 to 400 millimeter lens. It is the world's first ultra telephoto all-in-one zoom lens. It is designed for your APS-C digital SLR camera. I love national parks and Yellowstone has some of the most unique and exciting landscapes in the nation. The combination of wildlife and seismic activity make this place otherworldly. Here at the fire hole, the waters are almost boiling, creating a tremendous amount of steam. So it's a good thing this lens has moisture resistant construction. The Tamron 18 to 400 is the close focusing lens. At 17.7 inches when zoomed to 400 millimeters, it will give you a stunning 1 to 2.9 macro. It also utilizes Tamron's exclusive HLD autofocus system for quick and quiet focusing. With so many active geothermal features in Yellowstone National Park, it feels like it's still being created. It is really humbling to witness mud boiling because lava is so close to the crust of the earth. I was hoping to have clouds at sunset, but when they didn't arrive, I concentrated on shooting the reflections in the pools all along the basin. I also used the telephoto end of the lens to shoot detailed images of the geyser itself. This morning I got up before dawn 
to drive out to Artist Point to shoot the famous waterfalls at sunrise. Getting to Artist Point before sunrise, VC was really important because I was able to get sharp images without bringing my tripod. VC is Tamron's vibration compensation. It's an image stabilizer within the lens. It allows me to effectively hand hold while capturing images at slower shutter speeds. I don't usually like getting up before dawn, but when I get to a location and there's beautiful light and no one else there, it's definitely worth it. When traveling through a national park, you should have